Today I'm going to install a stem extender on my Scott Plasma Pro. Keep watching and I'll show you how to do it to eliminate play. So I ended up with this Scott Plasma Pro Triathlon frame. It's a uh, full carbon and everything, and it's way too low. Um, I'm not saying I'm the youngest guy here, but uh, it, it's a little too low even for me, and it, it's a professional bike. So what I want to do is make it more into a, a comfort flat bar road bike. And the way I'm going to achieve this is to install one of these stem extenders. Now, if they're not really stem extenders as such as they are steer tube uh, extenders. <laughs> but anyways, here you go. You just, I put this one on with uh, a, a spacer first on the top, on the, the dust cover. And then I installed the stem extender and here I'm just tightening down that big long bolt with no stem and no spacers just the compression bolt and I'm gonna essentially try to make the stem extender an extension to the steer tube and make them just one piece and this is how you do it there we go. There, it's on there nice and tight. Okay, so we'll just tighten it up just a bit more. Make sure that we get that full compression. And that the bottom of the extender is nice and flush against that spacer. And that spacer is nice and flush against the dust cap. There we go, there's no play. And gonna have to lower it here so you can see I'm just gonna take a little bit of that compression tension off so that I can line up the stem extender Put it back on there keep it nice and tight and then I'm just gonna Take that 5mm Allen key for this particular bolt and tighten it right onto the steer tube. Now, the reason I'm showing you this on a carbon steer tube is because you don't want to over tighten. Uh, what will end up happening is you can deform the carbon and then you, you kind of ruined your fork. <laughs> and that's not what we're looking for. So, now that we have that nice and tight on there, we're just going to remove the compression bolt and the top cap. It's kind of long, so it takes a little bit. And some of that slack is going to be taken up when we put the stem on. So here we go. A few spacers. I'm going to put this other spacer on because that's what I have and I'm not going to be buying other spacers just to finish this build for simple aesthetics. So I just check the spacing and there, there's enough space between the top of the stem and the top of the steer tube. So again we just install our compression bolt and top cap. Tighten her down just enough so that there's no play. And the reason we don't over tighten is, and this can happen because carbon steer tubes have compression plugs, they can just come loose. And it, it's a failing to a lot of these uh, carbon steer tubes. They, the plugs will just uh, pull right in. There we go. It doesn't matter too much how how much we tighten on the stem because it's just the stem extent. It's not the actual carbon steer tube. 
and there we go. Complete. It's that simple. No play, and she's ready to go. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you out if you uh, get to that stage where you need to put a stem extender on. <laughs> okay, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next video.